Noel Barnett's on his way up from Albuquerque to Denver. We're about to mix and mash on a collab wall. Let's see what we get into. Time to get to work. Might rain a little bit later. Let's see if we can uh, crank out. Skate park got layers and layers and layers. That is insane. I think there's gotta be like, I guess it's been around for like 10 years. So what, we have to paint it twice a week? Like 500 layers of paint later. Insane, look at that. I wonder if you just like got a sandpaper and just sanded just this slowly. thing down. Took a cross section and yeah. you can see each color layer the whole time through. Like yeah. how epic is that? This is the before. All right, we going dead center? Yeah, I think we should. Why not? Yeah. Why not? On the side, back end as well. Dope. Get to it. Both Noah and I had never even heard of dope spray paint before today, so we uh, checked these Dope Supreme cans out from a local shop. Got a nice range of grays and whites and blacks for him, a little extra blues on top, and then some greens and yellows for my piece. Let's kind of see how they play on the wall and hoping the gloss finish worked well for us. We can use what's already on the wall as a doodle grid. Right? You don't have to. That's you don't good. want to throw glasses on top. <laughs> I don't mind, I just forgot. We've gone through and done kind of a sage green and slight gray. I'm gonna do probably my middle tone, which will take most of my shading up. We're gonna call this super green to mother kind of bevels headed in there. Once we got that established, we'll probably throw some of the 3Ds down. <laughs> Literally the background looks like it's already meant to be like part of the skull. <laughs> the yellow of it all. Got just a blue dot on the white right now. Pretty crispy honestly. Pretty smooth lines. Get a touch of overspray there if you're a little sloppy. But I think I'm going to lay in the 3D pretty solid white and then shade from there. That way we block out some of the background. And uh, you get a little cleaner look. Just practicing good lines before it matters, like with the small stuff, trying to make sure that like I am deliberately staying where I want to be and not getting lazy, so that when it comes time for like an outline where one line counts, it is at least practiced a little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How about yourself? Uh, not much. Still kind of filling in sections. Staying loose with it, or? Meticulous just yet. <laughs> uh, say pretty loose. Yeah. The only part like this is the only like real clean. Yeah, the shading on the white highlight looks nice. Yeah. The depth of the little crack here fell nicely within the right. sunglass. <laughs> Good contour combo. Figuring out the cans a little bit. Yeah, I've already clogged a few caps. They're <laughs> sticky uh, yeah. resin. Making some solid progress. We've been out here for an hour and a half kind of step back and analyze what we're doing. Have any thoughts at the moment? I'm thinking that it's, the black is so harsh right now that's catching my eye, but we'll soften that up as we go. Well, the rain has arrived. We're gonna try to push through, work quickly, and get some of this, hopefully, before we get totally rained out. Uh, <laughs> we got water on the wall for sure. It'll add a stipple effect. Is that the dot cap you're using? Yeah. I think so, yeah. I had a couple that were very similar to it, but... It seemed to be like Yeah, more or less. It's just crazy because we're right on the edge of the See it like blast out the... <laughs> the, the drips are just so everywhere. <laughs> it's like dollar spray paint. Yep. It's 
gonna be messy. <laughs> that looks kind of cool. That's the background effect? Sure, really just washed out. I dreamed about bringing a raincoat last night. I don't know why, and then didn't think about it once this morning. I dreamed about the Brady Bunch. And what was the Brady Bunch doing? We are layered up here, and the only extra add-on we're thinking is a little bit more black on the exteriors to center up the piece, but also maybe do a reflection of the greens in the sunglasses there. So I'm gonna give that a go, and if I mess it up, Noah's painting it right back over immediately. So <laughs> we got a, a valiant attempt ahead. So I'm going to try and flip and make the mirror image, maybe do the eye in this eyeball and the S over here. Like this is a scam. <laughs> Yay, kind of worked. <laughs> I think we made it far enough to hit some more of the background. And I think based off how much pink we have in the glasses, I'll do a little bit more pink in the background as well. Maybe in the kind of style of the lightning. Kind of one. Got the Lego yet? Yeah. <laughs> All right, I gotta ask you, what are our final thoughts here? Um, thanks for having me. Um, crushed it, I think. Yeah, it was, it was a blast. Was it really worth the flight, worth the troubles. For sure, yeah. <laughs> I'm always down to uh, come spray some paint. Put in paint, paint. Favorite part of the piece? It's this, this section of the, like you said earlier. Oh yeah, the wall. Get it close in on yeah. that. We've got three dimensions here. We got this huge <laughs> lip where layer. That's where the, the cheekbone would be coming <laughs> out, and it just so happened to work out. Natural sculpting. Yeah. Courtesy of the shitty wall. <laughs> yeah, I definitely like. Almost, we got kind of like a fire scheme going from the light gradient there. I think that that builds a ton of depth in it as well. Of course, more lime green in your life never hurts. So all the shadows and all that definitely looking killer. Oh yeah, we pushed the bounds. Yeah, yeah. When we were at the shop, we were limited to one mild, mild shade of purple, and it doesn't even count. It was right. bright pink it's at like the end of the day. <laughs> so the skull was originally designed to be purple, but I think the blue and green complement. We played enough yellow into the mix that I think that saved us a little. Yeah. Pretty decent stuff from Dope as Dope well. Paint is not bad. Yeah, really send, glossy. Tell them to send you a package. Yeah, right. <laughs> Well, we got a, uh, where is it from? 
They don't have any colors anywhere on the can. I found it just now that you said it. Avocado. Avocado. So we had wow. colors at some point. Yeah, there were colors to be had. We had very glossy finish, kind of sticky residue. It dried really, really fast, which I guess helped us with the water. <laughs> I didn't seem to have much trouble once the wall dried 10%. Well, there you have it, the Skull Scythe collab with Noah Barnett. Huge thank you to Noah for traveling all the way to make this project happen. And, you know, I had a ton of fun chopping it up. He's also got an edit on his channel as well as a crazy dope Instagram. Find all his info in the description of the video. Maybe you've got a suggestion on who the next collab should be with. Drop a comment down below. Maybe leave some feedback on how you think the piece turned out. It's really going to do it for me, guys. Peace.